If you're tuning in today and you haven't seen my first video, go ahead and watch that now where I talk a little bit about my trip to Houston, Texas. Welcome back to Tea with Tavy, and today we are talking about my trip to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Planning over South Carolina was kind of random and last minute. I had never been down there before, and my big brother lives there with his family, so I wanted to surprise him since he moved there maybe seven or eight years ago, and I could never afford to travel before, so I wanted to get on a plane surprise him at work and then spend about a week with him and I can say that I had the most beautiful time he had no idea <laughs> that I was coming and it's so funny um I didn't know what to expect actually I didn't I didn't know if he'd be super excited or any I had no idea I, I didn't know what to expect I'm gonna surprise my brother. He don't know that I'm here. <laughs> Does anybody else like cashews? They're so good. We should have hit Tate. Because he's gonna see Tate. Mm -hmm. Take a lean back. How you normally sit that way? He ain't gonna be able to see it. Where are you coming from? It's right over here. Look, he's right there. He always, always wears plaid. Always wears plaid. <laughs> Can you lean in and get your big ass off me? Wayne, she's recording. Uh, what do you think I'm gonna stop? Because listen, I mean, real pop raps. She's on. YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> okay, well, I got to get in my mouth. Oh, Tell him to go. Tell him to come to your door. Tell him to come to your door. Go ahead. Reach in my, my briefcase in the back, right in the back seat. Grab my, grab my briefcase. Welcome to Myrtle Beach. You've been to Myrtle Beach before, right? No, I Did I show you so far? No, I just got here. So it wasn't just my brother I was visiting. So I was visiting my sister-in-law and all my nieces and nephews. Yeah, you see who it is in town coming to see your boy here. I love you. I love you too, sis. I would be spending time with my nieces and nephews as well. Hey, he's been bullying me. He's been bu yeah, you get on him too. Say, you're here now. Say hi to my YouTube. Hey. I want to get this. This is so nice. Yes, I'm also going to get the, this cup. Do you want it in there or do you want it in there? You can put it in here? Oh, yes. Yeah. Thank you. This is like the best memory ever. What I love about being in Myrtle Beach was that I got to get a lot of rest. It felt so good to catch up with my nieces and nephews. Like these are people who were in my life like every day when I was a teenager. <laughs> I feel like I missed out on some important years for some of them. No fault of my own. It's just the way life goes sometimes. You know when you see someone you haven't talked spoken to in so long and it feels like time hasn't haven't passed. It was definitely reassuring to me that my family was still the same. I still got to laugh and watch shows and catch up with everyone. Family was so open to talking to me about their hopes and dreams and their goals and school. It kind of put my life into perspective. Everyone has their own responsibilities in life. Everyone has their own goals. Everyone has something they're working towards. And that's a beautiful thing. Another fun thing I got to do one night while we went skinny dipping. <laughs> Which 
is kind of funny. Like we ran into the water and um, it was dark and cold and I don't even like doing stuff like that, but I figured, you know, why not? You only live once, right? <laughs> watched movies, we played games. All I want for Christmas is my toothbrush teeth. All I want for Christmas is my toothbrush teeth. All I want for Christmas is my toothbrush teeth. Friday before I was leaving was the early premiere of my short film, The Gift, and I was really excited about it. And I told my whole family, I was like, you guys have to watch it. Please watch it. And they were like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we'll watch it. And I got to sit in the living room with all of them while my short film was on screen. Um, but my family was super supportive of The Gift and just saw how hard I worked. I didn't know they'd actually take eight minutes out of their life to sit down and watch a short film that I put together. Thank you family for your support in my business and what I want to do and not putting me down and encouraging me to keep going even when I feel like it's too difficult. I didn't get to spend as much time with all my family the way that I wanted to or would have liked. One, because it was a, a surprise, like no one knew I was coming really. There was only so much we could do. We did spend Easter together, which was cute. My family means so much to me. I can only hope someday that I get to be a mom. I get to be a wife, I get to have kids, I get to have a family. You know, that's something that I would love to have someday. I got to ride around Myrtle Beach and see the homes and the, the neighborhoods, the beautiful spaces to just observe. And so many times I've thought to myself, wow, I cannot believe there's all these places outside of New York. All I want to do is come back to Myrtle Beach again and like go to a resort and really do it in a big way where the whole family plans stuff out and we spend time together. I realized I had a lot more self-discovery. There were a few nights where I couldn't sleep because I was up thinking anxiously about my brand. I had a lot of imposter syndrome and I was thinking about what my life is going to be like when I come back to New York. I had a feeling that when I got back to New York, after everything, that my mindset would be different. When I was down there, I got to spend time with my family and just tell everyone, like, this is what I want to do. This is who I am now. This is who I've always been. And I love you guys. And I want you guys to support me even, you know, in the future, you know, not just right now. I didn't expect to feel so loved and so appreciated. I was sad to go. I was sad. I had spent so much time with my family members and we bonded and had so much fun, so many laughs. It felt too short for me in a way, you know, and it's kind of crazy how life goes on. You know, you gotta get up for work tomorrow. You gotta go to school tomorrow. But if my family's watching this video, I just wanna let you guys know I love you. Thank you for the hospitality and making me feel welcome. It was a crazy couple weeks. Um, I'm fully adjusted now when I got, since I got back. I finally unpacked everything maybe a week and a half ago. <laughs> um, but um, I love you and I appreciate you for watching today's video. Thank you for watching Tea with Tavy. Till next time. Bye. All right, Manny. Bye. Bye.